Hey everybody, Justin Seeley here, and I'm going to be showing you an Adobe Illustrator tutorial today, wherein I show you how to recreate this vector microphone icon in just a few short and easy steps. So let's get started. I've got a brand new document open over here, and I'm just going to start off with the rectangle tool. I'm going to make sure that my fill color is set to black and my stroke color is set to none. And I'm just going to come out here and I'm going to start drawing out some shapes. So first off, I'm going to draw the microphone itself. So that's going to be about 100 pixels wide. Doesn't really matter how tall you get it, but you know, 315, 320 pixels, something like that should be okay. And so I'm just going to do this three, 100 by 315. And once I get that done, just like so. I'm then going to make sure this is centered in the document window. And I'm going to draw the rest of this out as well. So let's come down here and let's draw the base for the microphone. I'm going to make that just as wide as the mic itself. And we'll make it about 25 pixels tall. And then we're going to draw a little stem onto this. So a little base onto that. And make that a little taller. Something kind of like that. And if I want to make sure that that's in the center, I can just come up here and center it up. You want to make sure that the align section is set to artboard. For all of these that way everything is lining up directly in the center and so that works out pretty good I might nudge that down a little bit so it's right on top of the other shape and then I'm going to focus back on the microphone itself so once I have the microphone shape selected I'm gonna to go to the effect menu stylize round corners and a radius of 60 pixels should get me the shape that I'm looking for here so 60 pixels is good hit OK and then once I have that applied, I'm just going to go to the object menu and choose expand appearance. And I'm doing that because I'm going to be building upon this shape and the shapes that I build upon this, I don't want them to have the rounded corner effect applied to them. So I just expand the appearance and now I'm going to go up to the object menu again, go down to path and choose offset path. And for the first time here, I'm just going to type in a value of 10 pixels. And if I show you a preview of what it's going to do, it's just going to recreate the shape, but make it 10 pixels larger all the way around. So we'll hit okay to that. And there's my new shape. And let's do that one more time, this time object, path, offset path. And then we're gonna change this to 15 pixels and hit okay. And once I do that, I now have three shapes. I can select all three of them like this. And I'm ready to start making my microphone. So I'm going to press Shift M on my keyboard to bring up my Shape Builder tool and come right here in the middle, hold down the Option or Alt key and remove the inner portion of that. Now you can see kind of what we're getting there. And then I'm going to now grab my eraser tool. You can grab that by using shift E on your keyboard. And what I want to do is just make a line that goes all the way across this. But watch what happens when I do this. I'll hold down the shift key, click and drag across. And when I do that, it cuts a hole all the way through each part of it. Now you may want a microphone icon that has a split all the way across. And that's fine if you want that, but I don't. So I'm going to undo that, switch to my selection tool, and I'm just going to select the outer ring. Then we're going to press shift and letter E again to grab the eraser tool. And then I'm just going to hold down the shift key, click and drag straight across and release something kind of like that. If you don't want it to be quite that high up, that's okay. You can move it down, just undo and click and drag straight across. There we go. And so now I just grab my selection tool, select that top part, delete it off. And there's my microphone icon coming along pretty nice. Last thing I want to do is cut some grooves in the top. So let's go ahead and grab the rectangle tool again. And I'll just come over here, draw out a groove. Something like 15 pixels tall should be okay for this. And then I'm gonna use Command or Control C to copy, Command or Control F to paste it in front of itself. And then I'll just nudge it down until I've got a good bit of space in between it. Command or Control copy, Command or Control F to paste it again. And there we go. Now if I want to make sure these are equidistant apart, I'll just select them and then up here at the top in the align section of the control panel, I'll say align to selection and then we'll vertically distribute them around the center. There we go. Now I'll nudge them over using my arrow key until their midpoint lines up with the outside of the microphone. Command or control C to copy, command or control F to paste and then let's move them over and line up their midpoint with the other side something like that. Then we'll select them and the microphone itself. Bring up our Shape Builder tool with Shift and the letter M on our keyboard and then just hold down the Option key on Mac, the Alt key on PC and drag across the grooves like so. And so once I finish dragging across, 
there we have our completed microphone icon. And this is vector art. You've created this in Adobe Illustrator, so therefore it can be used in any project and scaled to any size anywhere you need it to go. Now one last touch that I might throw in here is I might select all these base objects, bring up my Shape Builder tool one more time, and just hold down the Shift key and combine those into one shape as well. So as you can see, it's really easy to create complex objects inside of Adobe Illustrator by using nothing more than basic shapes and the Shape Builder tool. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had fun as well and I hope you learned something along the way also. If you're watching this on YouTube, I recommend that you subscribe to the channel for more free videos and also don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Twitter as well. Thanks everybody for watching. See you again real soon.